Nate's fucking creator. He ain't shit. And I used to have a real attitude about it. When I died, I was going to heaven, and I was kicking everybody's fucking ass. Gods, devils, all their angels and demons. I mean, every fucking buddy. And they fucking knew it. And they knew I could do it. And they knew I knew I could do it. And that's why they keep me fucking down here. Because I've tried. I've tried to get back. <sighs> I was one hostile. I was one little hostile pissed off about a lot of shit down here that I didn't understand. And I had no explanation for it. And I got pissed off. Been pissed off. So you see, I'm not, you know, I got all kinds of shit in me that's just as whack as anybody. But I keep having these experiences. And they're not whack. And they're way beyond what most of us I mean, I could not find anybody for the 20 years of looking. That's all I did for the first two years after I had my experience of eternity was try to look in books and every kind of writing and every kind of anybody mentioning anything about higher spiritual experiences to find out what's going on. And nobody, nobody really, no. They, they call, they call things eternity and they call, you know, they use the same words, but they're not what I'm talking about. Just, you got to go a little further. And our intellect just can't get us there. And that was the thing with the experience of eternity. It was completely beyond my mind. I had separated, at the, right from the beginning of the experience, it felt like I had separated my mind from my brain. I hadn't left my body. But that whole physical channels of neurons and all that. For us, it seems really, really lightning fast, but it's not the spirit. It's slow. When you separate your mind from it, and it doesn't have to work through those physical channels of the brain, it just blows up, man. It's way beyond what you think you, you are. Um, but anyway, it, it was basically a... Sit you know, I've been thinking... I've been... Tapping into these higher dimensions all summer through these open heart experiences. They're just huge. And, uh, I'm kind of waiting for, you know, things to manifest in my life around it. Because I know it's changing my perception. When my perception changes, our reality changes. It's all right here. It's just how we perceive things that makes things different. And so I know I'm tapping into this and I'm expecting different kinds of manifestations. Nothing's really showing up except what I wasn't realizing were manifestations. I do a lot of dream work where I try to communicate to my subconscious mind. And we're big again in quiet ways this summer since I've been doing the open heart thing. So I've been telling my subconscious, you know, if you're out here creating this reality for me, um, send me a sign. Send me something that's going to let me know you. We got we got a communication line going on here. I got, I got this. I didn't realize that time. I got to get rid of the light. Let's see what's the best way. Right here. Um, this is a rock. It's a molten piece of bubble. It's almost like a geo, but it's agate. You can't. You might be able to see through it. Yeah, I can see through it when I hold it up to the window. I can see through it. Um, I don't know if you guys can. Can you see what I'm doing? Anyway, watch this. <laughs> well, of course, when I'm doing a video, <laughs> you gotta get your mouth on the right. Anyway, it whistles like crazy. How about that for attention getter? Hearing you loud and clear, Ken. It's a molt piece of agate. I can't, I, I, I'd like to show up better on the video, but it's not going to work. I'll get it outside one of these days. It's all cold and snowy out there. It's the worst temperatures in the world for me. When it's moist and wet and 30, 40 degrees and all that kind of crap, that is the worst time for me to go outside. It's better off when it's like down in the teens, lower teens and single digits. Then everything freezes so bad it actually gets better for me. 
But when it's just a cold ass 30 degree, 40 degree moisture in the air, shit, fuck. And see, I am kind of physically getting better. I've been going through a lot of physical transformations because of these open heart experiences. And they're improving. But at the same time, I'm still screwed up. <sighs> anyway, I don't know how long this has taken. It's going to take forever. Oh, it's only 15 minutes before. I just got to ramble like this, you guys, and I'm finally going to get to it. I'm going to have to add some writing to it. I tried to put it all in writing. It just it takes too much. Anyway. If I could just get to a point where I could just like intellectually talk about it. Just recollect it on that kind of intellectual level and relate it to you guys. But it moves me too much. I start thinking about it and I go there. Ah, it's hard to be there. You can't do anything else. Oh. Man, you just got to ride with me on this. I don't know how else to do it. Uh, I'm going to get to it. Even if it's not in this video, I'll keep trying. Oh. I've just got to get to a point where I can start talking about it. You, know, you gotta kind of let it wave through you. Know, these waves of these, like, this open heartedness just makes you want to just ball and fall in love with everything. Uh, and it's like that, too. Man, I can't hardly talk to nobody without falling in love with them in five minutes. Like, Jesus, oh, I, I'm not in love with you. Oh, I'm in love with you, too. Oh, shit, I'm just, I'm just gone. It's like a, a state of love that is so high, it's beyond the deepest uh, love between a man and a woman or anything on the human level. It's, it's, not, it's not even the love of, of, of that. <sighs> Something beyond all that. It's the kind of love where you'll just sacrifice yourself for everything. You're so born, it actually takes you to a state of innocence where it just doesn't matter. I never even feel like that ever. Ever. Completely just pure. It's a beautiful thing. Anyway. I practice these and I practice these and I know my astrological chart. I know what you know, to keep up on astrology a little bit with the internet. Kind of slow this summer. I wasn't worried about it this summer. I was just doing my open heart. And by the time I get back online and I happen to check my chart, see what's going on, I see this conjunction of Saturn and Jupiter coming up and it's going to land right on my ascendant. Double doubles Aquarius, double zero Aquarius. And my Venus is zero one. They're both right there where they're conjuncting. I had imagined, I don't know, maybe half a dozen scenarios what that might play out like. And none of it was even even remotely close. Um I was in therapy. I was having this open-hearted experience, and I was just going with it, like always. And it just shifted into more. And what we think of it as ascension is actually just an emergence into a collective consciousness. We are in a collective right now, but it's a closed collective, and by that I mean. 
we can only experience ourselves as individuals. We don't really experience the collective that we're in. And we're meant to experience ourselves as individuals. That's what this whole thing is about. That's kind of like the whole revolutionary concept is behind all this. Is the self being more important than anything else. Especially for belief. I mean, it's self-belief. That's what we're going to end up talking about to the utmost degree here. That's what this is all about. Shifting your beliefs from anything outside yourself. I don't care what it, whatever kind of concept you have of spirituality or love or just life in general on this planet Earth. If it's information that comes from outside you, shit can it immediately and just start looking at what goes on inside you. <sighs> Especially for self-doubt. That's the crippler. It ain't the devil. It ain't nothing. And it ain't belief in God. I mean, people, look at the world. People been running around on this planet believing in God for how long? Thousands and thousands of years. And look at where it has got us. Start believing in yourself is going to change. Immediately. And that's what this whole experience was about, really.